you're working on Simply Dreaming. Yes. And you said you're getting loops on the top, especially with the straight line outlines. Only on the 880, not on the on 590. The okay. Um, which particular, any specific design that you're working on? Um, one of the month one on I believe it was the five inch and you were on the triple stitch around this on the outside of the satin stitch and it's yes. getting empty. okay so that's a tension issue is it consistently loopy or is it periodically loopy um I, I hmm, that's hard to say I guess it's <laughs> It does seem to do it almost all the way around, but it is a bigger loop in some cases. Okay. I'm suspecting that your top thread didn't hit the tension disc. Is it looping underneath as well? No. It's and just showing up on the top. I'm, I re-threaded everything. I put a um, thread net on the spool. Um, I don't know what I'm, what, what to do. Cause, uh, you know, on my 590, I have absolutely no issues. So it's definitely a specific to the machine then. And yes. so, and you've re-threaded the top tension or the top thread. Yes. Several you times. Might, um, check the cutter. Okay sounds strange but the cutter on the eight series machine can have an impact on the tension so do you know how to clean the cutter yes so make sure that there's nothing stuck in the cutter um so take take the throat the stitch plate off and um first off you can just manually inspect you might see that there's just a thread stuck in there and then go into the settings and do bring the cutter out, put it back in and do it like half a dozen times. Cause sometimes there'll be a thread stuck and it takes three or four kind of thing, pressing of the buttons to get it to come out. That I I've noticed. It. I did increase the tension uh on the 880 up to i think it starts at 275 mm -hmm. or, and i i increased it to 375 that seemed to help but i was worried that if i do everything at that higher tension is that going to cause a problem with the quilt no because you haven't got to, you're just purely working on the applique right now yes so it sounds like that that there might be a piece of thread stuck in the in the cutter. There might actually be a piece of thread in the thread path that is affecting the tension as well. Okay. Um, how far away is your dealer? Oh, that's that's. Uh, I'm just moved from Wyoming to San Diego, California, and so I don't really have a good dealer here. And if anybody knows a good dealer in San Diego, I'd really like to know. Um. Yes, Danielle, hang tight. Um. They closed. They did. Yeah. Oh they, no. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she retired because of um her illness. Oh no. Um, that's no good. Let's see who, um, I'm just going on the Benina website here. And somewhere they have, okay. Um, So hot, Balboa Avenue. Okay, um, I think I that'd be good. So Cozy Creative Center is Danielle's store. That's right, and, and, they, and unfortunately, they, they they just closed just recently. Oh no! No. Um, 
So Soho is coming up. If you go on the Benina website, you can use their store locator, and that's right in San Diego. There's um, Poway, Poway Sewing and Vac. P O W A Y. I don't know how that's um, kind of a bit north, northeast. Mm -hmm. Um. It's such a shame that Danielle isn't there anymore. No sewing machines plus also, but I just wondered if I'm sorry, say that again. You cut out there for just a moment. So yeah, check your cutter. Check your cutter first. Um it might be okay. worthwhile. Um see if you can do you take the front plate off your machine? You know that. Yes. Take that off and yes. see if there is any thread in there that you can see anywhere in the thread path. Have you tried a okay. different spool of thread? Yes, I have. I tried or the same it... thread that I had used on the 590. And it was Floriani. I mean, I could try a different brand, I suppose. Um, well, because every now and then there'll be one spool of thread and it just doesn't want to play for whatever reason. So it's always worthwhile trying it with a different, not necessarily a different brand, but even just a different color can work. It looks like you've frozen up again here. So Wait, let me yeah. see. Uh If anybody else has um, any suggestions for joy on tension, um, increasing your top tension isn't actually going to do any damage. For the triple stitch, it looks like we've lost joy altogether here. Um, anytime you are doing triple stitch, I have, we had a lot of problems with one of our eight machine, eight series machines doing triple stitch. And it was a tension adjustment that was needed at the, by the tech. Um, but always check your thread cutter, always check your top tension, make sure you're actually getting in the tension disc and make sure there's no thread stuck in the thread path. And increasing your tension isn't going to do any damage. You just want to make sure that for, um, example, your satin stitch, you've not got everything messed up.